Well, it's a question that the world has been asking. If you catch the coronavirus, are you protected from catching it again? Well, researchers at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center here in Boston say they might have an answer. Christina Rex has the story. Multiple studies have shown promise for a coronavirus vaccine. One released from researchers here at Beth Israel today shows there's a chance that humans who have had the virus once could be immune to it in the future. We are cautiously optimistic. A new study done in monkeys shows promise for COVID-19 immunity, revealing two things. First, monkeys could not get the virus twice, and a vaccine either protected them fully from the virus or protected them from a severe case of the virus. And the vaccinated animals had far lower, and in some cases, no detectable virus following the exposure to COVID-19, whereas all the controls did develop uh, virus and uh, viral pneumonia. Scientists don't know if the same is true for humans yet, but people who have recovered from the virus are donating their blood to help with the research. With the worst body aches, the, the very tight chest difficulty breathing. Laura Wolfson had one of Boston's first cases of coronavirus in early March. Since recovering, she's donated blood and nasal swabs to multiple research studies. For me, it's like, okay, I went through this awful experience, but if out of that, something good can come out and something good can come out that helps other people, then um, I would do it 100 times over. Blood donations like hers contribute to vaccine research and political leaders and scientists alike say a vaccine is the only way the world will be able to return to normal life. Overall, we believe that this is good news for the COVID-19 vaccine effort because it shows that both natural immunity as well as vaccine-induced immunity can protect. Dr. Baroque says there would need to be multiple clinical trials to show that humans have the same reaction to a vaccine the monkeys did in the study. In Boston, Christina Rex, WBZ News.